All right, so I'm out here in New York City right now, and I thought this would be the perfect environment to test out these Shox Open Run Pros. These are some open ear headphones, which I'm gonna put on my head right now. And the cool thing about these is that they don't actually go in your ears. So they actually sit in front of your ears and project the, the audio to your like cheekbones. And that actually makes it sound like you have something in your ears without that actually being the case. Now, Shox is sponsoring this video. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, you're just being paid to say positive things. But you know, like I'm going to be giving my honest opinions about these and also some positives and negatives and really who these are for. And so really the main thing that I like about these because they are open ear, right? They're not in my ear is that when I am walking around a city like this, I can still hear my outside environment, right? I can still hear the cars flying past me. Um, yeah, I can just still hear everything that's going on around me, but still get that audio. So um, these are really made for people who are active, right? And you can see on the box of these when you do buy them that you see someone that looks kind of like me, right? <laughs> but uh, they are sweating, right? So these are really kind of geared towards people who are active going for a run um, or doing any other type of like outdoors activity and things like that. But it's not just for those use cases. Um, it is for when I do want to get uh, walking navigation and I don't want to have my phone out the entire time or have some earbuds in my ears. Uh, these allow me to be able to get those walking navigations um, directions while I'm moving around a city like this. And so yeah, this is like the ultimate test. I'm walking around the streets of New York City. It's a lot of noise and stuff, but I have these on my head and I'm still able to hear the audio, but also hear the traffic, hear people walking behind me and stuff. Now, one thing I will say is that there is a little bit of sound leakage that you get with something like this. So if you are in a quiet place and you have these on like 100%, then people around you may be able to hear it, right? So definitely if you are like sitting on a bus or something very quiet, probably just turn that, that audio down just a little bit. But when you're out in public like this, it's not really gonna be uh, that big of an issue. Now, another way I'm going to be using these is when I am riding my e-bike. So this is great because, you know, I'm just riding around the park right now, but sometimes I will be riding around in the streets and definitely being able to still be able to kind of hear the cars behind you or people walking around or other people biking behind you is definitely nice. So um, also too, if you're worried about like how the wind sounds in your ear when you are listening to these, um, I have been able to get up to around like 28 miles per hour where I felt that I was still able to hear the audio just fine um, and not have you know too much wind blocking out the noise. But I do have some bikes that can go up to like 36 miles per hour. Um, at that point, you know, it might be good to maybe switch to some in-ear um, headphones or something like that. But for these, just cruising around, chilling in the park, enjoying this nice weather out here in St. Louis, it's just fine. Now, it's been some years since I've used any type of open ear headphones like these. And I was always a little hesitant about these because the ones I've used in the past haven't always been the best, especially when it comes to audio quality. And it's kind of hard to like expect fantastic audio quality because it's not actually in your ear. But these do sound really good, right? And one of the things that they do um, kind of brag about is the bass in these new models that actually does rattle your cheek a little bit. So um, I found that if you did have it at like 100%, you know, it, it, it gives you this little bit of like a tickling feeling, right? Um, so I don't particularly like that. So I usually keep the maximum value for these around like 70%. Maybe I'll go up to 80%. I find that's a sweet spot to still feel a little bit of that thump from the base, but it doesn't become too distracting. But look, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and tell you that these are going to be the first pair of headphones I'm going to grab if I'm trying to listen to like a, a high quality audio file or watch a movie because I'm going to go for something that probably has active noise cancellation and something that probably just allows me to be able to block out the outside world to be able to consume that content more and so using these on a plane are definitely a no-go for me but I don't think most people expect that but uh, maybe using it in the airport when you're walking around and going to your your gate or something uh, these will be a good option for that um, but yeah so when it comes to watching movies I'm usually going to go for a pair of headphones that um, offer active noise cancellation and also some just better general audio quality because it's actually either in my ear because it is a wireless earbud or some over-the-ear headphones and really I found that these are are meant to kind of complement whatever activity that you're doing. Um, and so when you are working out and you are going for a run, um, necessarily listening to audio might not be like the number one thing. It's really the workout, right? Whatever you're doing at that time. And so the focus of these is to allow you to listen to some jams, listen to some music, listen to a podcast while you're doing said activity, but still just be present in the moment of what you're doing. Oh, and these also do have Bluetooth 5.1 too. So the connection has been pretty stable with me, um, no matter if I have like my phone in my left or my right pocket. So yeah, some Sometimes connection drops and stuff can be an issue with really any type of Bluetooth headphones, but I haven't had any issues with these. 
Now in the box, you also get this hard shell carrying case, which is a decent size, right? It's not too big, it's, it's small enough to fit in most of my bags and stuff, um, but also it's a little bit of a hard shell case, so it's gonna give you some protection. Um, but also it does uh, have the ability to carry the magnetic charging cable that comes with these. So on the right ear butt, you will find the uh, magnetic connector point and you just basically just bring the cable close to it and boom, it snaps into place and now you can charge. Now the other end of this cable is a USB type A cable. I would have liked to have seen USB C there, um, but it is USB type A. Now I know it's a little bit of a stretch for me to ask this right now because the size of these headphones is pretty small for what they are, um, but I would like to see like a USB C uh, port on these so I don't have to carry an extra magnetic cable with me. But look, that's not a, a big negative because they are going for a small form factor that's light on your head and these do achieve that so that's just kind of on my wish list but yeah let's just talk about how these feel on my head so when i put these on you don't have a lot of adjustment that you need to do but i do find that i do kind of move it backwards just a little bit because i have a lot of meat in the back of my head um, and so this allows for when i am looking up and down it's not going to be moving too much now you might not have this problem because you might not have like some hot dogs in the back of your neck like i do but um, moving left and right is totally fine i don't really get any movement but um, if i don't adjust it a little bit when i do something like that it, it will kind of move the headphones so it's not a big issue i'm not walking around like looking up like that a lot but that is something that i was aware of but shocks does do a good thing because they do offer a couple of sizes for these so these are the regular open run pros here that fit me perfectly but they do offer a mini version that's going to be great for people with smaller heads or even kids um, to use so i like the fact that they do give you those options instead of trying to go for a one size fit all solution but I do wanna clarify, this isn't just made for people with smaller heads. The Mini will be good for people with bigger heads too, but they might be looking for a snugger fit because the, the band for the Open Run Pro Minis is going to be about 0.8, I think 0.83 inches um, smaller than the normal version. So yeah, it's gonna be made for multiple people, but um, definitely for me being a big head guy, um, I'm gonna go for the Open Run Pro, just the regular version. But the good thing is that the Mini is just a slim down version of the, the regular ones because um, you still get the same battery life so you get up to 10 hours of listening time or taking phone calls um, and also they both support quick charge so basically in about five minutes of charging you can get up to an hour and a half of listening time which is pretty good and they're both rated ip55 for water resistance so this means that when you are very sweaty when you are working out or you get caught in a in a rainstorm or something these should be just fine so yeah durability wise these feel really good they've been holding up very well for the like kind of the past month that i've been using these um, i love the kind of the the matte finish on these where it doesn't really show a lot of fingerprints and, and grease marks right so i'm a kind of a greasy guy i have to admit but i will have to say these have maintained a very clean look for the time that i've been using them um, and also I, I can't believe i forgot to mention this on the bottom of the right um, side of these you will find a couple of buttons one of those is going to be the power button um, and that's also the plus button for the volume controls and then the other button is going to be the minus button for the volume controls and then on the left hand side you will find a single button that will allow you to do things like play and pausing your music and okay so right now i do have these open run pros paired to my smartphone and i'm just using them as a bluetooth microphone so let me know what you think about the audio quality right now i think they're just fine for phone calls but let me know down in the comments how do you think these sound it's a little bit more windy than normal so that might be picking up on the microphones but i can't hear obviously because i'm recording this video but yeah let me know what you think and so look, I have to say that before they reached out about these, I wasn't in the market for any type of open ear headphones. They just really didn't do it for me in the past. And these aren't going to replace all of my, you know, over the ear headphones or my wireless in earbuds. But what they will be doing is replacing a couple of the times where I would normally be using some wireless earbuds. Um, and so these will be kind of my go to's for when I am working out um, or when I'm just walking around a, a new city that I'm. And so the price for both versions is going to be $179.95. Um, and then also as far as the colors, the regular standard version will be coming in black, beige, blue, and pink. And the mini version will only be coming in black and beige. And so yeah, that wraps up this video. I am interested in what you think. So leave a comment down below about what you think about these shocks open run pros so i'm about to walk back to my hotel so i can get ready to catch my flight but i do want to thank you for watching this video and i will catch you later peace